Hey everyone, Chris here, and this is a little uh, follow-up on my chargers. Uh, a while ago, some of you may have seen that I have four of these. Uh, I'm currently down to three, because these are honestly the worst chargers that I have ever had. Uh, they're supposed to be 200 watt. Uh, if you charge anything over 100, they will overheat, and they don't protect themselves. Uh, even though if you set the uh, protection, apparently that's only for the battery. So these things will just burn themselves up and then uh, make your house smell like burnt electronics for a while, which is uh, not too great. So as this says, 10 amp at 14.8 volt. So 148 watt. It can't do it at all. No possible way. This one, I actually modified to force the fan on all the time. This one is all stock. Now, this one will actually cool down to a manageable state again shortly. So if it does start overheating, you shut it off, let it cool down, and go. Well, this one, they don't have a uh, thermal control on it when it's off. So if it's not charging, it just sits there. So it'll slowly cook itself because it's not dissipating any heat. And they'll just destroy themselves. That's what happened with my other one. It started overheating, so I stopped it, and it just continued to cook itself. So, seeing that, if you actually uh, start this up here, which to make sure that this, uh, I can handle it, I'm actually charging two 10,000 milliamp 4 cells. So, really I could be charging it up to 20 amp. Um, so, if you listen to it, that's not the fan. That's the charge circuitry inside here. So, definitely questionable. I don't know what's going on there. Um, this one, I currently don't even have it on. But, if I, uh, get a pack plugged into this, it's going to do the same thing. Uh, it does that high-pitched whine, and they're honestly crap. Look at the end voltage, 16.8, capacity, have that off, safety timer off, and temperature cutoff is on, but apparently it's only the battery pack. Internal temperature, 122, 123. Let's just see, uh, 54 Celsius. It's only been running for a few seconds. I mean, it's only put in 200 milliamp. And this thing is already at 57 Celsius, 134 degrees. 58. I mean, this thing is just continuing to rise. Um, the only thing I found stable for these is 5 amp. Like right now, the heat sink on the top here is starting to get really warm. Um, I have it powered with a 700 watt power supply, um, which I actually had for four of these because I originally was planning it only charging at uh, 100 to 150 watt each. Um, but chargers can't even handle it, so what's the point of having the power supply? Um, right now you can actually smell the electronics heating up. And if we look at the uh, temperature again here, it's at 68 Celsius, 154 degrees. Input voltage actually dropped to 11.8. Um, I have this modified to where it puts out a 12.8 uh, with no load. So this is still, uh, now it's at 71, 159 degrees. Now, that's only 140 watts. So, I have no clue where they're getting this 200 watt from, but 149 watt currently, and this thing is drastically overheating. So, looks like so far it's stabilizing at uh, 74 degrees. So, we'll uh, push it on a little bit, see if I can get it to hit that 
ADC temperature cutoff, supposedly. 167. Only 4 degrees to go. We'll see if it burns itself up first. Or if it gets up there and shuts itself off, supposedly. 77. Last time uh, I had one of these run, it just ran until it burnt itself out, so might as well try another one. Seventy nine, up oh, one degree and this thing should shut off. For thermal protection. Oh, look, it's already there. Still not shutting off. Oh, let's go up higher. Yeah. So, they definitely have some flaws. Um, this is probably the worst investment that I've made in my RC hobby. Um, thank you, Hobby King, for this uh, wonderful crap. Uh, you can definitely tell, like, even the power cable they have on it could not handle 200 watt. This thing is already heating up drastically. The cable is 110 degrees. There's a non-powered 75. 114 degrees. Yeah. Uh, not sure how this is going to uh, handle it. Oh, there it is. So it did uh, finally protect itself and killed it, but now it's just going up again. So let's see what temperature it waited for it to cool down to. Oh, 82. Yeah. Uh, it should definitely be cooling down more than that before it starts cranking itself back up. So let's uh, check our stuff here again. Looks like 109. To 111. Let's check the uh, output cables. Oh, not bad. 84. 74. Packs are at 77 degrees. 76. Not too bad. Now, if we look at the uh, charger here, it's a 118. If we can shoot the internal board, 113 supposedly. There you go, 141 on the heat sinks. That was right there. Let's see with this cable, I can smell this cable heating up. The whole thing's just slowly cooking itself. 85. Yeah, look at that thermal cutoff. Definitely not accurate. So, waited for 85 degrees until it finally cut itself off. This thing is completely cooking itself. The only thing that's going to save this is that my fan does not shut off. If you had one stock, as soon as it does this, the fan shuts off, and it will just cook, and then you'll start getting like little Chinese symbols and stuff on here, or some sort of strange symboling, and then it's toast. So, in short, which this video apparently was not short, Eco 610 Hobby King, I do not recommend it, find anything else. And you might as well, go. don't go for a 200 watt, go for a 150, because this isn't even 200. So, there it is. And if you charge big batteries, stay away from the Eco 610. See you soon.